are live. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? So nice to have you back. Oh, it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back. It really, really is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, I'm You always look good. Look, show a little cleavage in the winter. I'm a little bit there for you right there. All right, starting over. She had a funny feeling I was coming back. I did. I had to wear it because I know you lo- yeah. love this shirt. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> shirt. I, just had I one. wore a scarf, but I'm not covering right. this spot. Right. Okay. All right. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> but you look great. No, no, no. So I feel much better. Anyway. I feel How much do you better. Feel? Um, you know what? I feel great uh, for all you guys that uh, didn't know I had surgery on my neck and my back. So it's a little, I'm a little still on the stiff side, but knock on wood, everything is great. Everything is great. That so is it's just kind of. Hard really turning. I don't. I don't like turning like Herman Munster, but I had so, no one picking on me for a few weeks. I kind of felt lost, so I think I started picking on other yeah. people, which wasn't and you good. You did a good job of it. You I did. did. Job. I picked on someone I love very much, so yeah. I'm apologizing. And she screwed up really bad, well, but that's okay. <laughs> Even when I'm not here, she screws up. Right? <laughs> but right? anyway, she only screws up when I'm here. It's no, I'm really teasing. nice to see you and have you and. I don't have to worry about all these phones. I, I didn't do bad, yeah, though. I, I, no, 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 no. You, not at all. Not at all. And you I, didn't, and I didn't, all. Get, didn't do bad I didn't get in jail. I know. I get in Facebook naturally, jail. Nat- <laughs> naturally, she likes to share. So yes. when she's sharing, she shares so much that, you know, people complain. I, it can be dicey. Right? Yeah, it can be dicey. Yeah. You know? So I'm not even so, in jail. Uh, and, yeah, she's not in jail. So I'm I gotta, so happy I, to have you I back. I have to, uh, yeah, I have to give you credit for that. Yeah, and I have to wish one person, my wonderful man that I'm he's some my friend my everything to me it's his birthday so happy birthday to yes Patrick. happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday belated birthday wait it's, it's Saturday oh Saturday. No, okay. It was Saturday okay but we went out right and we danced all day. we had a great time we went to a nice little party right. and Jerry Ferretti was playing okay and at first, when I walked in, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But we had a blast. And the food was well, that, great. Well, that, well, that's all that matters. Yeah, we and we had time. a great birthday. And then we went out yesterday again. So, of course, I'm getting spoiled. So, it's very nice. Patrick, though. I miss you, buddy. Yeah. Boy, I miss you. Yeah. Um, but before I forget, I, I know. See, look, already I'm on the phone already doing doing what I do. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the wishes, the cards, the the food, the pastries, especially the cookies. Uh, thank you so much. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. And thank you. You know, I tell you how much I, I love yeah. you. Yeah. Well, and we Susan, have a surprise you know for you how much I love you. Later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And and Justin was trying to get through to me all the time. He's our cameraman. So he was knocking at my door like every other day, but I wouldn't let him in. Oh, Justin yeah. has been no, he's, fantastic. He's he our our views on the, on the uh, show, you know, yeah, yeah. the different images he puts up now. We get so many compliments. On yeah, that. no, he does a great job, and so we're happy to have him. And uh, yeah, I just uh, so it, it feels so year. weird sitting here. I know it's a new year, the and place. I want to wish everybody a happy, new, a happy new year. Yeah, and the place is great. I got to oh, tell you, Greg is my nephew gorgeous. Frankie. Um, he's 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 doing a great job. He really is. I want to thank also Stacy for always being there, being very supportive. She runs the place. She's, she's the manager. Really she a really does. Well, she's everything. So I wanted to give a big shout out to and Frankie. I know he's going to do a great job. And, yeah, um, Frankie, I met him. Yeah. I came to the grand opening and right. we had a picture. And I'm, I said to him, come on, some, come, some, come, day. <laughs> come, we'll put you on for a day. Yeah. And he's very sweet. And I love the way it looks. It looks great. Yeah. Everybody loves it. Yeah, you know what it is? Um, all the work that he put into it, I got to be honest with you, between him, Stacy, his, his uh, girlfriend, I call wifey. Yeah, she looks uh, pretty. She's a sweet, I saw yeah, her from she's a sweet yeah. No, adorable. she's a doll, yeah. And for anybody to kind of put up with Frankie, yeah, I got to tell you, I got to give you a lot of props. Because <laughs> yeah. I know, because he was, he, we go back a long way. And um, you know, he was the youngest manager at, at one of the other places that I had. And he always says, you've never seen Greg's temper. And, and uh, I, I don't have a temper, I really uh, don't. <laughs> I, I get a little annoyed sometimes, a little upset. But Frankie's like, listen, if, if anybody would ever to tell Frankie, oh no, you know, sometimes, sometimes Greg gets upset. He's like, you've never seen it. <laughs> and when he tells you the story, it's funny. But, well, um, that's great. And we yeah. wish him the best too. Oh, yeah, yeah, Part yeah. of this with yeah. you. And, you know, we're separate, but we're not. But, uh, you know, I come to visit the club once in a while, but our team is separate and we do great. We have all these great people. Jenny's not here today. She normally is. She couldn't mm-hmm. make it today. But we have yeah. a great time, Be- and we help we, each other. Before uh, 
before we even start, before giving out shout outs and everything like that. Mario, I'm really, really sorry for your loss. And I lost a cousin, you know, family member. Oh. And you know, we're here for prayers. You know, I'm always here. I'm and, sorry, um, Mario. If you need anything, I'm a, I'm a phone call away. So just to give you a big shout out. And you've been on my mind. And when you're ready, just give me a holler. Because I don't want to pest you. So he knows that. All right, I love you. And I love the family. And um, yeah, let's, let's, let's start out the day so far. Today is what? National Sicky Day? National Sicky Day. Now, Sicky Day. What is that? Speaking of running a little warm, you might have low fever. And if you don't, that's no reason to call out on National Sick Day. Observe the first Monday of February, which statistically speaking is people are most likely to call out sick. Yeah, whatever reason. I would think they'd call out sick the day of the Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah. but, and then uh, National Chopstick Day. That's a Just go to Chinese. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And, and, and uh, Gun He Fight Choi, Happy New Year to all my, my Asian friends, my Chinese friends, because it's, and they say they're Mandarin, so... Yeah, uh, there was a big holiday. Yeah, Chinese that's their New, New Year's. That's their New Year. And then National Frozen Yogurt Day. We all know what that is. Yeah, you just go get one. <laughs> just that's go it. get one and that's it. You know? That's it, exactly. But um, but we have one birthday, right? We have one. Oh, other yes, birthday. we have one. Away. That's right. Asian, the continent. Asia, the continent. I, I, when I sat there, I was like, I know Asia, but where's the continent? But she that's right. does some work she, with yeah, a very that's professional right. That's singer. Right. That's right. That's right. And she lives And right it's happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. And hope to see you soon. Yes, Asia, you're overdue to her visit. Yes, so sir. we have a very nice gentleman here, TJ Kiss, Thomas Jr. Thomas Jr., yes. On the yes. side, he works in the restaurant business. Uh, but yeah, that's that. my professional. I've been working in the restaurant industry for 20 years. Um, 20 years, yeah, wow. Yeah, started out as a, but, uh, 38. God, I, yeah, he, 30, he looks like a baby. He looks like a baby. <laughs> Thank God, you. Like, that's a kidding? tremendous compliment. I will take <laughs> that. Me too. Well, I, I turned the p- newspaper over the other day, and there he is. I'm like, that's the guy that's coming on the show Monday. So when he called me, I said, you're in news. He goes, I am? But you didn't yeah, know it. No, you didn't I did know not it. know. But you did something to get that. You must have yes. wrote in something. Well, so I, one of the films that got into the New York Long Island Film Festival was Locked, which was written by um, a journalist named Megan Meehan, um, who I actually met through Donna Morales. Right. Um, so she started working on this Faces of Long Island thing for Newsday on their Instagram. And, um, you know, just picking different people from Long Island who... Right. Do different things, you know, and so I recommended a friend of mine who writes comics, Phil Butelhorn, who got on there. She interviewed me as well, and I got on there, and then they used my picture for an advertisement, so I guess I'm not as bad looking What's as her I name? thought. Megan Meehan. Oh, I think I know her. She sounds familiar. I don't know. She might be my friend. She friends. was at the um, the the Saturday night at the festival. Oh, she when was. When the Fontanas and, I know and everything, yeah. Okay. Okay, so... One of my favorite films, which I, I I can't even believe it, we'll show a clip when uh, when he's ready, when Justin's ready, is Renters. Renters, yes. And tell, let's talk about it. What's it about? So Renters, Renters is the first foray into something more than like five minutes long for me. So it ran, it ran about thirty five minutes. So my first real short film. Um, it's kind of a horror comedy thriller. I try to blend a little bit of everything into it. It's very um, real, though. Yeah. Well, you know, it's. The story is based on, you know, my family, luckily enough, we were able to have two really nice beach houses right on the Jersey Shore growing up because my grandmother loved the beach and my grandfather had the money. So we got them. And so I always thought I would want to shoot something down there um, even before I even started doing anything with filmmaking. Um, So in thinking about it, I'm like, okay, so one house we lost after Sandy. Um, The other house just got a little refurbished. So one house still is like... 40, 50, 60 years old. The other one is like now 10 years old. Mm -hmm. So one looks great, brand new. The other one is more of a home. And that was like the beginning of that story of renters going down and locals who don't really always like the renters who are coming up and causing a ruckus and then turning that into something dark and humorous. Well, did something happen in order for you to think of that movie? Um, Well, yeah, being down there for (laughs) all the years. I I knew, look, it always stems from (laughs) something. Yeah, true story, right? Me and my friends used to go down at the end of every summer in high school and college. And when we would see kids from, you know, local kids down there, they would always call us Bennies for some reason. I guess that's what they called people who came up. Yeah, Bennies. I I don't really know why. Strangers, is that what it is? Yes, yes. yes. So they would just call us that. You didn't uh, have squatters or anything like that. No. Okay. No, these are are just the kids who grew up and lived there year round. So they would they would like to mess with us when we were down there. So I decided to up that to another level mm-hmm. where now we have psychotic people who You had those are people in to, that show who yes, psychotic. Yes. So and, that was the whole And idea. so Donna Morales plays the meanest 
Yes, she Son does. Son of a big Owen in that and film. She does a fantastic job. She yeah. just takes the hatchet and boom. Oh, yeah. The yeah she takes them right out. That's yeah. love. Yeah. <laughs> I call that love. And um, the scary part, you know, of the man. Greg. Yeah. Yeah. Greg oh. Halverson really, he really did a great job. Like, that was, to me was the most fun was the first time we did a table read. And I got to see some of these characters like come, come out. to life. And yeah. I'm like, man, like, it's you know, it's really, cool. really, really cool to and see And then that. the filming, you had it on, you know, those big houses out. Yep. That was, Where so that was that? That was in uh, Normandy Beach, New Jersey. So those oh, are the houses that my family Still family owns. owns. Yes. Yes. So, so you go out really? there a lot. Um, I don't get to go out there as much as I would uh, like. Right. Um, I'm going to say, when can we go out? <laughs> I work, <laughs> Working in the restaurants, it's it's tough yeah. to take off a lot of weekends and stuff. We have a big family reunion every year that we go down for, which is a lot of fun. There's like 30 of us. Oh, that must be a place. Um, and honestly, for most of the summer now, what we do is we rent it out. And yeah, well, you make more money. Well, that covers everything. My parents are basically like, look, we're not all going to be here forever. So one day you can have this thing. You rent it out most of right. the summer. You come down for a couple of weeks for yourselves and it pays for itself. It covers all the taxes and all that's, that kind of that's stuff great. to do. That's great. And then I'll be honest, I love going down there in the winter. It's just so peaceful. There's, there's nobody else down there. Um, it's very, it's very quiet. quiet. It's a good place. Yeah. But when you were shooting it. Since it's so in, quiet, how did all the neighbors take Well, we went in March. We went in March. Oh. So okay. there was, like, nobody down there. Um, so it was, and it was on the weekend, too. So even, like, the house next to one of the houses was getting work done on it, basically getting rebuilt, mm -hmm. which worked great for the storyline because these people hate that. And now the other side of their house is getting a new big house. And, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other part is that it wasn't being done while we were filming, so I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. And but Natasha's was, in it. Yeah. Natasha was not. Yeah, I, oh, I, I, I tried to was. get her. I okay. tried to get her in renters, but she, uh, you know, she's got... She's busy Kids. too. And so it was really tough for her to try to take she off. She actually like three called me today. She's to watching. She said she's she texted me to say good luck. Thanks. She's for such a nice lady. Yes. Yes. Well, so she is going to be in my next project, Necromance, well, which we're really excited about. Well, so about. what's that all about? So Necromance is <laughs> our first. Let's <laughs> go with the names. <laughs> you know, my yeah, last name. That name. Wait, wait. That name I did not come up with. I had to stop doing what I was doing. I was like, what? So that that was originally it's a short film written by Sean Clark from Chicago, who I connected with through Clubhouse and Instagram. Okay. Um, so he had a short film script, about 20 pages he wanted to shoot last summer. Um, but after shooting Renters and being married, no way I was going to push any further and be like, I need to take another week to myself to go do this. That was not going to fly. So I t convinced him, let's shoot just a proof of concept short. Let's shoot like a three, four minute short to put out there and see what see people like some and so then i took his script and expanded on it i sent it back to him he expanded on that further sent it back to me and now we have a finalized script that's about 74 75 pages that we're going to look to try and shoot towards the end of this year into like my first like attempt at a feature film big so, so what is it about so it's a it's a high school horror comedy with you know zombies and, oh, and a lot of stuff. a lot it's, of paints swirling on people's faces it's gonna be it's gonna be a little gory yeah for sure a for sure <laughs> um i have just actually spoken with um uh alex Horenberg, but uh, she's on Instagram as Alexis Gore. She's going to do the makeup for the next short we're going to shoot for oh, it. You need and a lot of makeup. She's really for that, talented. Right? Oh, yeah. She's got, the, and then this uh, local Long Island band that's really, really talented called Platinum Moon. They're going to do the soundtrack for me. So oh, I'm gonna, they're allowed so to do this. Lose is a big, yeah, this is a big, big attempt. So we're doing one another scene that I want to shoot. And then after that's completed, we're going to try and go forward with a crowdfunding campaign and try and Try and raise some funds to shoot yeah. this the right way. Yes, so that's gonna... a big job to do the crowdfunding. Program, yes, right? yes, it is. It is. But you know, every every step of the way on this, I've tried to push further and push myself harder on the well, next project. That's how you learn. Exactly, and and I'm really happy with the script and the talented people that are already involved. Donna being one of them, oh, she's Donna. she's gonna play Miss Hanson, a a oh, crotchety old Donna crotchety okay. teacher, okay. crotchety teacher, she's which great. she's gonna do great in that role too. Um, <laughs> what are you trying was, to say? She she can play that role. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, she can play that role. She's mean on set, but she's a great lady. She's wonderful. Yeah, she's been really really supportive. So she's been a great person to connect. She comes here a lot. She was just here for the Christmas party. Oh yeah, that's right. I did see a clip of that. Yeah, she's she's amazing. Thank you, Donna, for everything you've done as well. Yeah, we love Donna. Yes, she's a lot of fun. So, um, wait, how many how many have you written? I mean, how many have you had so far? So I've made, made 13 made? short shorts that are like, you know, five, six minutes long. The one short film at 35 and now pushing forward to, I have some other but smaller is it all ideas that we're going to do. 
Uh, a lot of it is really, a lot of it just comedy. Oh, and comedy. then I started pushing into some of the horror as well with the comedy because they go so well together. Right. Um, one of my favorite things I did is I did last, for Halloween in 2021, I did a series of shorts called Scary Monsters where I would take these famous characters. So Frankenstein and his bride, or the monster of Frankenstein and his bride right. in today's world. So they were in couples therapy together. Dracula was in an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Um, wow. There, <laughs> there okay. was a mummy and his wife who went out and took a walk during the end of during the beginning of COVID during the toilet paper shortage, and they get attacked by all of their neighbors who start ripping off the shreds to get to the toilet paper. Um, and then a witch who lost her spells and called like an IT department <laughs> to try and help her fix it. So that was a lot of fun to make, and my first real attempt at something that was like Small. really small but it but wasn't because yeah. i had to do it all in a short period of time and, sure. and it was a connecting little bit sort of sort of story storyline mm -hmm. um but that was like that was a lot of fun and mm -hmm. that was when i really started like all right let's start pushing more with makeup all right what so how, when was what that? was the first one that you wrote first one came out in october 2020 and that's called oh, so one you just to started do. just like banging oh yeah one, two. yeah it was really really quick once i did the first one that was it i was like hooked yeah yeah it's like it was like addicting as i was editing and watching it come to life in front of me, I'm like, I really want to do more of this. Well, now that I'm involved with the film festival and Jerry and everything, I'm starting to realize when something really hysterical happens, like the other day there was a scene at the diner with Patrick and a uh -huh. Chinese woman in the parking, and I'm watching him. <laughs> I'm well, watching him. Oh, well, it was a little bit yeah, of a like... problem. He gets out of the car, he went and talked to the, you know, this is not fair. This, you know, he just, it was hysterical. And I'm like, I gotta write this out because I never thought of these things before uh -huh. I am involved in the film festival there is inspiration and seeing the shorts. Yeah. So little stupid things that happen to you, right. you just write it down and then you find a guy like this, you work <laughs> together and maybe you yeah, do something. I'm telling you. But I never thought of these things before, till now. It's it's crazy. There's a, I put on my Instagram story that I a show from uh, Netflix called I Think You Should Leave, but it's just a little sketch comedy show, but the whole premise of the story was this guy was driving behind somebody who didn't know how to drive, basically, mm -hmm. and yelled at him, like, well, that, that's, do you not know well, how to drive? We could have a lot of stories about her driving. Yeah. And the guy says, yeah, no, I don't know how to drive, okay? I don't know how to drive. So that's the premise of the skit, is that little saying that you say, right. but actually having it come back and being true, and then the hilarity that can go from there. So there's, everywhere you look, there's inspiration for something, especially if you want to make something small. Yeah, so, you know, maybe we should do a short, you know, I, you know, like we do it our own. That like, short, I get I'm the feeling you. it's a feature it, film. It's, it's definitely, it's going right? to be like a, gonna be like a series. Saga, We've yeah. been in a okay. few already and we loved it. <laughs> oh, The yeah. best part we had was um, yeah. together was in the Casual Crew movie. The funny kids that have the, um, yeah, they, you know, they, they're really the talented, bigger picture. Huh? So we played what we do and it was funny. Everybody yeah. loved it. Yeah. So, like, you know, we grow every time we do something. So, who knows? Maybe someday you get Greg to, That's you know, no, do a short, sure. a, a short. A short just is be easy. With, just be with us for, like, 10, 15 minutes and you can create a story. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I'm telling you. Very true. I mean, well, if I like cash you now with your recovery, you could do you could do another Frankenstein. Yeah. Another Frankenstein oh, form. thanks! And oh, wow! Always, I had to do it. Man. Oh, you up. had to do it. <laughs> no, but he's well. It was nice being here, guys. I'll see you. Later. Okay. No, but he's always available, and so am I. Yeah. So we're open yeah, to that sure. kind of stuff. The yeah. day that I fell on the floor, that's a short. That that was. <laughs> Tell me about that. I don't that. think I don't, but thank God she was okay. But yes, left, but but yeah, she. I fell bleeding. Um, you know, not a lightweight. That's not funny. That that that. I mean, thank God she wasn't hurt. She, of course. And that's all that matters. But I mean, I now we can laugh about this. He goes the running thing, into lit. the bathroom and he's putting tampons, tampons up my nose well, to stop well, the listen, bleeding. Well, listen, you got to understand. Listen, <laughs> listen. The, the thing is, look, when when you play football or when you get hurt, you know, when you're on the field, honestly, what works better? Nothing. have a bloody nose. I mean, so that technically I'm not gonna sit there. The, the I mean, you're not going to sit there and just jam because it's two seconds. Right spot, you but... pop it in there, or whatever, and it <laughs> but and, did it not work? And we had one, done. two, three. We had a performer, <laughs> a Sinatra singer here at the time, Jim Altamore. He froze. Yeah. He's a little guy. He's actually a little shorter than you, and he he just freaked out. You yeah. know? So that was funny after the fact, but little things like that. We had a guy almost pass. <laughs> On the stage one day, yeah, no, that, listen, sugar. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> he was listen, huge. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big guy, and and this guy was definitely. I mean, my height, but he weighed. I mean, I, I'm like two fifty, and this guy must have been like three twenty five. And <laughs> and I'm sitting here and I'm watching. And like I said, thank God he's okay. Um, but just watching him and and I'm watching, I'm watching, and for some reason he's kind of like rocking back and forth. 
you know, I just figured he was a little nervous, but uh-huh. it didn't work out that way. Oh, it was really <laughs> White guy scary. stood up and I was like, dude, please don't fall. I can't pick you up. <laughs> Next minute, I don't know, he just he, he just went out of the camera. Well, I want to say he went out of the camera sc- screen. I had to jump. Yeah, oh, was, my God. It, it was, was crazy. But it was. Yeah, I mean, thank God it was Very right. funny things we had. A parrot yeah. come on and uh, well, parrot, almost, almost hit someone time. on the yeah. forehead. Yeah. Oh, you know? <laughs> We have yeah. a lot of fun here. Yeah, I for sure. Yeah, we really do. Because we don't, you know, yeah. we like having different things. We, yeah, we I, go I don't like a parrot attacking me. Well, no. I, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, did anyone see yeah. on Facebook yesterday there's a, rab- a rabbit this big? What are you talking about? This big. A real? Yeah, lady's holding it like a dog. I asked her if she wanted to come on. Oh, <laughs> oh that'll go over real well. Did she say yes? She didn't answer me yet. Okay. Yeah, you look like, yeah, don't you worry. We'll have her on the show. Leave it up to her. We'll yes. have her on the show. It just adds We'll just get it in time for Easter. Perfect. Yeah, ex- well, that's I always think ahead. So we already yeah, know that's what for we're sure. Are you kidding me? So, uh, Justin, can we show a little clip? All right, because we have a nice clip of it. And when we get back, I uh, I definitely want to talk about the Grammys. Yes. Oh. Did you watch the Grammys last I, night? No, I didn't. Yes, did you, did you I watch did. It? Okay, yes. Good. So, whenever you're ready, Big Cheese. All right. So well, I'm excited for Greg to see this because I don't know if he's. Boy, you struggle, the board hurts. That's right. You, 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 you fight. You fight as much as you want. That's great. Yeah, let it go. That's it. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, it looked great. Yeah, <laughs> it, it great. really, it really was really great. Greg, Donna, and Alex McKay, totally. Greg, you it. did great they because you know you have it. the same name I do, so I know you're a great guy. <laughs> okay. Now I wouldn't want to be have Donna mad at me, but I we're good friends. But I don't know if I'd want to mad at me. Well, you see don't how happy she was at the end. See, there? That was the see what they tell you: actors always play roles that they're very, very comfortable in. See, look. Jennifer Anderson, she, she, she's great, whatever it is. I'm not too keen about her. I mean, it's not the way you're at. It's just sometimes I don't like someone that kind of plays always poor me kind of roles. And if you look at it, it doesn't matter even when she was on Friends, and but it's always the poor me. And, you know, a few of my friends told me she's pretty much like that in real life. Or or people that are just mean. There was just one thing. I was just watching Green Leaf, on, and it's a... Uh, about a pastor and, and, and the whole entire uh, church and blah, blah, blah. And there's a wife on there. I, f- I forgot her name. And she plays in a lot, a lot of movies, but she always plays that same. And she's got that mean, knotted face on. Uh-huh. And she plays it very well. But so it kind of scares me with, with her. Well, I I just stay on her good side. Yeah, that's probably, right. Everything will probably be fine. You know, just be very nice to Donna. Yeah. I'm sure everything will be yeah, lovely. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, my God. Last night, I got to tell you, watching the... Uh, the Grammys, and I haven't watched the Grammys in quite some time. And they were celebrating the, uh, of course, Beyonce. Props to you, 100%. She's won the most amount of Grammys in history. And um, they did, uh, they, in the Bronx, they're opening up a, a big museum, 50, uh, 50th year of oh, hip hop, really? whatever it is. Oh. So, so they had a really, I mean, they ended the show, I mean, spectacularly. It was. <clears throat> It was great. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's so many of these young artists that are coming up, and I'm like, I don't know who that is. I don't know who I that is. I didn't know a lot. Yeah, yeah and, it, and it kills me. I'm sitting here, and the guy's talking to guys, whatever, and singing. And, I mean, even the country singers. I mean, of course, we know the, you know, the, the, the older ones. Yeah. But well, there's the so the many. Like, um, what is the one? Um, not not Sharon. Ed Smith. Who's Smith? Sam Smith? Sam Smith. Who is it? Sam Smith. Okay, uh, Sam Smith. Is it? Sam yeah, okay. Smith. Okay, he um, he went up there, and and I I, I don't know. Um, he's with the LBGTQ. Mm-hmm. I, if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. But there was a female that was up there, and she's the first transgender 
to win an Academy Award. Oh, the blonde. That blonde. Yes. You know? And um, I mean, it really, I mean, it, things like that, it, it's definitely opening the doors. Oh, big time. I mean, and, um, just the uh, show. You know, hats off, hats, hats off to you. You know, it's. Uh, it was quite a. A long time ago, was, everything was always hush hush. And now, you know, and I do feel that things are just a lot better off being said and being open. I mean, you got to watch out what you say for everything. <laughs> Oh you yeah, know, you can't even joke. You got to be careful. Like the comedians, as a matter of fact, um, one of the guys, um, uh, Epps, Mike Epps, and he, and and this guy, he's like an Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Talks about everybody. I mean, but he has to be really, really careful what you say. Or Dave Chappelle, which I love, Dave Chappelle, especially yeah. now. You know, yeah, yeah you got to be, and you know what? But, but to me, I think they should get a pass because they're comedians, and that's what they do. They make fun of everyone. Yeah, and and it's not fair. You know, that, that yeah. their skit could be about something and, you know, they're, they're trying to make... And, and now they're not even as funny. It's yeah. funny because when you watch now that, that they have to be that careful that they're not as funny as, you know, they used to be because they can't pick on well, a certain group Well, some of them don't care. They do it anyway. Yeah, they yeah. do, but then, but then like they're Chappelle, not also... Right. Yeah, well, they Chappelle, just, yeah. They just do. Chappelle, well, Ch- Chappelle and Chappelle, he's going to die that way. Um, the other thing was all the people that passed. Oh, they had yeah. all those photos. Yeah, you know what? This, this year yeah, this seemed year like bad. so yeah. many. Yeah, they had, yeah. and what it was just it was really a rock. Oh. More than ever. Most of them, they'll always show it'll be like maybe five or six. Yeah, but this was yeah, ongoing. It must have been about 20 or 30. This, yeah. this last year was a bad year. Yeah, well. And if anybody has a loss, we're sorry. Yeah. Our prayers are out with you. So, you know, what happens like if someone, just a general person, wants to reach out to you? How do they, what, what should they be reaching out to you for? For a spot? For someone you need in tech, for anything like that, is it all volunteer? You know, let's Cur- tell currently, them. yeah, it's it, it, if you're going to work with me, it's going to have to be volunteer. Well, it seems that way with everybody. Sure. Yeah, well, well I, that's but, good though. Listen, if so many people want to just be able to be a part of something. Yes. Yes. So I, so I, I wouldn't see a problem with that. I'll tell anybody who were you're part of my film family, and what that means to me is that when I move on to another project. The first person I look to is anybody in my film family to see right, if they want to be a part of it. And mm-hmm. the hope is that eventually we start working on things that make us money and that you can make money from being a part of. Right, right now, that's not where I am, but right. you know, maybe I could it be one day. Eventually and grow into working it. with people who are have that same mindset of of they want to do it because they really love it. Right. And and they think it could be great, and they want it, you know, they want it for their real, they want it for the experience, whatever it might be. Those are the people I want to work with because. Right. I'm going to get the best out of them, even mm-hmm. if I don't have anything financial to offer them. But that's good. But, I mean, I'm sure know. there's a lot of people out there that yeah. love horror. Because you a, mo- yeah. mainly do horror, right? Yes. Or you, you've, are you going to do anything other than horror? I have lots of ideas, and I have some scripts that I've written that are not necessarily horror or are takes on horror, um, where they're, I have an idea that I want to do with The Shining, where I wrote a script um, where I basically will like put an actor inside The Shining, but they'll oh, be really? playing off of what's going on in the scene, but taking it on a different route on that end. Um, so I have lots of ideas, um, but I need more time to get of them course. all right on paper. Greg, Greg said it's a, it's a great uh, and fun project to work on. Greg said that, yeah. Yeah, Greg, but Greg, and Greg, Greg, awesome. and Greg, and Greg so you're right, because he was saying that if it was, like we were talking about comedians, that Andrew Dice Clay would be arrested. Oh, yeah. You know That's what I mean? When you think about yeah. it, you're right. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. There's so so how do they others. reach you? Yeah. They um, just go to Facebook? Or? Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, um, and just re- message me if you're interested. TJ and I'll be, Kiss. I will get right back to you. Yeah, TJ Kiss. Instagram is KIGB Productions because Kiss a Goodbye Productions is too hard to write every single time. So Kiss, do people tease you about the Kiss? Like, um, do they want to kiss? That So that name was, was very tough. <laughs> of course, you've got to come up with some. Well, because, you know, I mean, come on. Uh, kiss, until, you get kiss. To, until you get to, like, college, the name was rough. All right, really? it, was rough. it was rough as a little kid, yeah. But then once you get to college, then all of a sudden, that's a very alluring yeah, name to girls. Right. Like, oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. I would forget be, you. It's the first time you know, I'd say to you, your name is Kiss? Let me give you a kiss. That's it. That's but what that's I would her, do. Uh, it, wouldn't, well, it would just be a kiss that's on the cheek. That's because she lungs. She loves young boys. <laughs> that's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, my wife does still tell everybody that the only reason she married me is because of the last name, which is not necessarily a nice thing, but... I still went in the deal, so I'm well, I would think you have a lot of pictures kissing because <laughs> your name is Kiss. Come on, not that uh, not that are out there for anybody to see. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. premium subscribers only. So now I was telling you we have a Valentine's <laughs> Day special coming up. You should bring your wife. We're having food. It's going to be fun. We'll have a singer. I'm going to try to convince her. Um, so did you shop her. for Valentine's Day yet, Mr. Kiss? Um, 
<laughs> yeah, she she already has picked out what she would like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. So you're one of those that you actually don't surprise her. You get what well, she wants. Well, at this point, we've been together. So I've known my wife for over, like probably about 20 years. She trained me when I first got hired <laughs> as a, a, as a waiter at Richard Oh, wow. Day. We bartended together for years on Friday and Saturday nights. Um, so we know each other forever. So at this point, we have you know, two kids now. It's kind of like, all right. You just get what you want. I get what I want. We give each other a kiss. Yeah. You know, I'll bring her. I'll get her some nice. flowers and a card and stuff like that. Oh, and, that's but, plenty. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot we have going on, and you know, yeah, so, you, so your wife works too. Well, now yes. with the new baby. So really? she works. Yeah, she actually today is her first day back, so she's probably not watching. But if you are, don't tell anybody you're getting in trouble. Um, yeah, where is she? Another restaurant? Another restaurant too? No, no, she's been out of the industry oh, for a long time. Okay. Yeah, so she she does uh, like medical billing. Oh, well, that's a good job too. Okay. It's not bad. The, the flexibility for away. hours is good. The flexibility for yeah, hours it never is goes good. away. No, that's true. There will always be you medical don't billing. Don't lose your job in medical. Just like there'll always be food that needs to be served. Right, that's true. <laughs> so you like what you do, obviously. Uh, I am very lucky. I work for amazing people, the Davilios at Cabo Fresh. They're, Cabo they're Fresh. Wonderful. They make a lot of salad, right? Uh, we have we have salad bowls, very See, very then, then Mexican me. burritos, tacos. Well, no, that's okay, but the salad part you lost me. Yeah, it's, it's it too was, healthy. We say salad. We just don't. So where is this location? Because right, we're going like to get that. you some free. You know, getting a good. I work at the Stony Brook location on uh, Wisconsin Highway on 347. There's oh. one in Comac, one in Smithtown, and one in Center Reach. All right. Well, next time I go to Port Jeff all the time. Stop on it. So me and Jerry. On me. My girlfriend and I will come to Cabo first. Please do. Yes, I'll yes, be happy to. I will find you. Give I a, go give all a, over. Give, give me, yeah, she does. <laughs> As Patrick. Um, <laughs> uh, giving a big shout out to Jenny A. Jenny C. Love you very much. Lily, you know how much I love you. I miss you. Give me a hug and a kiss. Susan, you know how much we love you. Oh, Susan, we love, we you, so love much, you so much, so much, so much. Look at this table. Um, I'm telling you, she's she amazing. She decorated she's amazing. those beautiful Valentine's. Natasha, table. how you doing? Uh, Gloria, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I know you're going to be here Saturday, so hopefully I get to see you Saturday. Uh, I know I'm. I hold it. Uh, we have. Okay, I know I'm just a whole bunch. I got to go through all of this thing, so I apologize. So Jerry, what's going on, buddy? Jerry Freddy. Jerry Freddy, thank Freddy you for that hello. beautiful message you left on Facebook. I was crying when I just saw it. It was yeah, very and, sweet and, of you. And Kathy, how are you, hon? Thank you for calling and say hi to Gil, because we miss Gil. Anthony, Anthony Natola. Oh, Anthony, Anthony he's Anthony. my Facebook friend. He's, he's a singer. Oh, God and bless you, I my know, friend. I know. God bless you. Three I know years. you get those two, three o'clock texts, <laughs> okay? I know. And they're not drunken texts either, okay? <laughs> so it's real. Oh, God. You know? And then um, Lizzie Van, Lizzie Van Der Sheriff. Marge, I'm sorry. Marge, Marge, Marge. I love you. Marge is a very dear friend of mine. I love her husband. And uh, Chamber of Commerce, if I'm not mistaken, she's she's the head of the Chamber of Commerce. Oh. And um, I know she'll correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. But uh, she was giving me an idea. She goes, you know, you should open up, which something you're going to laugh. Right. There's a place that closed down. And she goes, you know what you should open up? You should open up a steakhouse. Ooh. Now, right off the top, which that would be great. And I thought about it. I said, that would be really nice when you serve steaks. You have a Brandon. Uh -huh. You have a branding with a letter G. That would be great. Yeah. The great yeah. Greg. Yes. Can I brand you first? <laughs> see, how, see how it comes out I right missed here. you so much. You know. <laughs> really. You I don't want you to forget me. You basically Community do League. I'm sorry. Community right League. Now. I had to correct. I knew you correct me, March. That's right. Community League. I'm sorry. She's an amazing, and I got to tell you something. Do I know Marge? Uh, if you see, you might know. Yeah, she, yeah everybody Hi, knows Marge. Marge. <laughs> everybody knows Marge. She's a sweetheart. But um, I know I'm missing a whole bunch of people here because I don't have my my laptop. I mean, my iPad, for some reason, I'm having a problem with it. Yeah, so, so I, um, I, I, wherever I go, okay, I'm me, he's Greg. Uh -huh. We have separate friends, but yet they know each other. Okay. So wherever I go, I hand out cards because I'm a little wacky that way. <laughs> That's how I leave my scent. I leave my cards. <laughs> I swear to you. She okay, does. and they bookmark. That's a better way to leave the scent. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, you know, I'll say, "Oh, I'd like to meet you, have a show, blah blah," and then I give them the card, and they go, "Oh, I know Greg." I'm like, well, so do I. I'm like, calm down. And it's just weird. We know the same people, but in different channels. And yeah, so it's funny. always a, a story, a joke, and I'll send, I'll take a picture of someone and send it to him. Yeah, my neighbor, my this little old lady, this man with long hair and dressing real fancy in a car, and I give him a card. He goes, "Oh, how's Greg? I know Greg." <laughs> I'm like, "This is my neighbor. It doesn't matter where I go." So it's quite interesting and fun. 
And um, we deal with a lot of performers. So if you ever need performers. Yeah, she turned know. around. Marge says, yeah, she go, uh, Marge says we chatted about the Franklin Square Senior Complex. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so um, we have performers yeah. if you ever need them. Sinatra's, uh, Bobby Darren's. Okay. They come and they perform on the show. Today's quiet. But I don't normally, think I, I don't think actors they'll, he'll have a, a lack of no right? you know but if ever. <laughs> but if he ever has I've a got party a nice, nice little nice little pool right, that's yeah it. if he um, has a party and you need anything we know people for that oh yeah I do I might have something that I might need yeah, yeah and I do go. parties on the side okay and Greg has she a strips. beautiful place she strips. okay she has a portable pole. I did mention she hits that and goes, Crap, my cousin's like bachelor you know, party is that? coming up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so Voila. we do a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, so Valentine's gifts. I don't know if I should bring this up, but I just happen to see this. And I'm mm. coasting, you know, the internet for gifts. So this gift is supposed to be, it's a little, you know, off color. <laughs> it's, called a, it's called the adorable rose. Okay. okay. It's an adorable rose toy vibrator. An adorable it. rose vibrator. It's modeled on a rose. It's okay. pleasing to a woman in function and appearance. Do you know what the funny thing? I don't mean to cut her off. I just got to tell you, if I could have look when we first met and we started and, and we started somewhere else, you you couldn't say uh, like even anything. And nothing bad. Right. Provocative. I mean, anything of sexual yeah. innuendos, anything like that. She's like, oh, no, oh, no. I swear to you. She was always like, in the beginning. Yeah. And I said to her, loosen up a little bit. They said, well, look I how much she loosened up. up. Talking yeah. about vibrators, flower they told vibrators. Me I had to loosen up. I love up. this. So, wait, I have to read this. So, it's a must have for your collection as a collection. Couple. Unique tapping stimulation, like a butterfly <laughs> flapping its wings. Oh, Seven sweet. modes. Offers seven powerful modes, ranging from constant to variable speeds. Mm. Silky smooth silicone. And it talks to you. <laughs> Listen, guys. And this it talks is a great gift for your wives. Wow. <laughs> it's on the internet. It's called the Adorable Rose. I just thought it was hysterical. That is, that is. No, that I thought is. it was very funny. There's one better for you. Uh, <laughs> I was going to get it for you, too. You were going to get one for me? <laughs> oh, for her. Oh, for her. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Oh, but it was ninety-five. Right. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. It's too much. But anyway, yeah. I, I thought that would make your day. Oh, it did. It back. did. Mariana, giving you a shout out, honey. Nice to see you. Oh, she's our favorite. Yeah. She watches yeah. every yep. single show. That's it. And and um, uh, Rosemary, giving you a big shout out. And John, I'm glad that John's doing much better. Uh, very dear Kwanian friends. Well, forget about the Kwanian friends. Just very dear friends. Uh, Mickey, giving you a shout out. And um, to all the Kiwanians, I got to tell you, you know how much oh. I love you guys. And and they really are amazing. Oh, amazing, man. amazing, amazing. Hands down to you guys. And thank you so much for the love and um, support. And right? the support. Really. You know so, about the Kiwanis? No. Oh, oh. You're going to join. Don't worry about it. Okay. He is. Right. I'm going to have a picture right. of joining. It's a great organization. Yeah, okay. So, uh, really good organization. But, um, well, this year we're doing a prom collection for all the girls that can't buy prom dresses. Oh, wow. And we're working with a company called Westies and the Long Island Volunteer Center. And all you have to do is on my is going to be on Facebook is if you have a collection of gowns that you're never going to wear again, suits, shoes, jewelry, you go to Westies. It's all on my um, Facebook account, and you donate it from now till March 31st. Okay. And there's going to be a great thing for these girls. They're going to look gorgeous. And I got to tell you something. These these proms, um, they're no joke. They're, and and I remember there was a show on TV. My my, my proms, sweet, my, sweet my sweet, yeah, my oh. sweet, something like that. Where you know it's, it was a big event, of course, and dads would turn around and give their daughters a brand new BMW. Yeah, yeah. and I'm sitting here going, like this is something that you, you, you have families that can barely make ends meet, and then uh -huh. you're putting on these shows. It kind of bothered me a little bit, but I mean, the show didn't last that long. But all these kids, I mean, from very wealthy, wealthy families. Yeah. And you know what? I, I mean, it kind of bothered me a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, what? You know those impress me with that pocket. Pay for someone that can't afford it. Well, that would that's what this me. is yeah. about. That would be really, really so nice. So these girls you know I mean? get to go. If you know a girl that needs help, send it to me. And then I sent it to the volunteer center on the day they have the prom boutique. You just can't walk in. Right. But she works with a lot of different agencies. But we've become one of her helpers. And um, Diana O'Neill is a hoot and a half. And um, it's going to be really something. And so the only thing I'm collecting here... Is that showtimes on Mondays and Thursdays is jewelry. 
Everything else you have to bring because I don't have room in my car. <laughs> Jewelry <No>. I'll take. <laughs> Jewelry I'll take. And then, um, of course, Valentine's Day, I'm going where I want to go. I'm going to see Eddie Sessa with my, my honey. And there is a great event at uh, Westbury Manor. Right. Valentine's right. Day. Frank, you're giving you a big shout out at Westbury Manor. Yep. And I uh, hope to see you really soon. Three seatings, okay? And then the opera's back. That's right. I don't know That's when right. you're going to Yeah, be no, not, not this. Not this one, the yeah. next one. So uh, I, uh, Greg is a maitre d' yeah, and a speaker at the opera. Not a maitre d', a maitre d'. Well, what d. is it? I don't know. What's it called? What the hell? A What's it called? D. All right, I'm sorry. I'm an announcer. <laughs> announcer. A maitre d'. <laughs> yeah, All right, I'm Let me come help you. Let me take care of your table. <laughs> announcer at I the opera. I love that. You see, she's just amazing. This is what I miss. But do you know what he okay? does? It's amazing. He stands yeah. up there in the big thing. As I'm... Talking and, and introducing the opera singers, I'm seating everyone. Morning, yep, absolutely. You know what I mean? I'm I mean, you, 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 how many people do you have there? Three, four? I did yeah. that on purpose. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's this Friday's the opera. If you ever need a cheap date, it's in a beautiful place in Northport. Main Street, tons of restaurants. 20 bucks to see little excerpts well, from it's, the it's opera. a donation. That's what it is. Donation. It's beautiful. And, uh, you know, just to keep the opera alive it's um it's getting bigger and bigger isabella she's an amazing woman i gotta tell you i don't know how she does it i love you bernadette you know how much i love you and and bernadette's my coach so she really yeah, helps me out with the pronunciations uh isabella really really puts it together kimberly she's also a part of it she does i mean she's a singer she's uh she's she's no joke yep. but um it's really something fun i i was it was kind of like out of the box for me not really knowing how to do something like this. It's not something I'm used to doing, but I got to tell you something. Doing it great. It's fun. I enjoy it. And uh, I'm learning so much about opera. Yeah, they I came mean, on the show. You know, okay. so, And uh, from that, I got a client. I do PR So it's every, it's every second. Yeah. It's every second uh, Friday. And then Greg got right. pulled into it. So, yeah. and we go, yeah. and we have fun. Yeah, so we have a great time. And then Thursday, February 18th, Bob D'Amato is singing at Mapakachi restaurant. Bob, giving you a big shout out. I miss and you, Bob. I haven't seen you in a while. Say hi to the wifey. And Bob is singing on Valentine's Day. Oh, is he where? Yeah, here. Is he really? Okay, yeah. good, good, good. But good, on good, the good. 18th, you can check um, for the uh, the event on the 18th on my Facebook. So we have a lot of great things coming up. And, uh, you know, very excited about it. And Your wife is watching. Is it Laura? No, it's my mom. Oh, oh my, I'm mom sorry. Is sorry, watching. mom. I didn't know. Hi, mom. Okay. okay. Mom's watching. <laughs> That's really Stephanie nice. Jeffrey. Colleeno, hello, oh, hello, hello. Colleeno's watching. That's right. Okay. That's, right. That's very good. And Marge's husband is a uh, former Marine. Oh, and, very and nice. she writes, of course, many talents have a jarhead talking about myself. And yeah, well, she loves you like yeah, everybody. She, she's amazing. She we really call is. him the Great Greg. Michael, the I didn't Greg. give you. Mm -hmm. my, uh, Michael Recondino. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's one yeah. of my friends. Yes. Yeah. I think Another one that she texts is two, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I, <laughs> God well, bless you, my friend. Night, you know? Yeah, she I is. Late yeah, at she night. is. I had to ask Susan yeah, to come but, down but, to but, the desk. But but the funny thing is she is up late at night. But do you see what she's looking at? Flower vibrators. Flower vibrators. So that's that's why I say that to you. No. It all it all tracks. That, it thank all you. Tracks. Thank you. You see, I had to think of something funny for the Valent someone to buy their wife for Valentine's Day. We only have two shows to Valentine's Day. <laughs> come on down, Susan. We have something for Greg. But in the meantime, this is for you. You never know, you might want to make a movie about this one day. We were talking about this a little before, right? Yes, okay, so that's yes. my book, that's for you. Thank you very much. And our information on how to watch and, and see the show is there. Excellent, you know awesome. anyone. But you know, you didn't even get your Christmas gifts yeah, because we haven't seen you sit down. You guys are crazy. See, so look, we look. want to present you with your Christmas gifts. This is not a flowered, nothing. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <You're right>. no. <laughs> No, it doesn't. So be. open it up. Okay. Because it's special. You're your back. I was so happy to have you. Oh, you guys are crazy. Why do you guys do this? You know how much I hate gifts. I think that's probably why they do it. I'm telling you, it's true. And um, these well, we love gifts too. So we no, get along no. great. Everybody loves <laughs> gifts. And this year, you know, my name is Valentina, <laughs> and it's Valentine's <laughs> Day. Oh. <laughs> so. Gonna be a great Valentine's Day this year. Sit here, sis. You have to, yeah, unsnap it. He never it's knows. An, he never I, knows what it's, it's an eyeglass case. You know how you're always losing your glasses. Oh, wow, he is. has fifty pairs of eyeglasses. Wow! And, thank and you, thank you, thank you. You could put two in each case. I got, oh, yeah, I like that. We got that. him something practical. 
Oh, you see, now this is something, yeah, I can definitely well, this is And you don't find that. that. He likes I it. Love yes. this. Yes, I love Trust this. Thank me, you. that Thank was you. hard Thank to you. find. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. There's so many goodies here. Oh, wait. We did have chocolate egg class for you, but we had to eat them. <laughs> don't take them on. <laughs> and that's your nice. Oh, so you God. always smell good on the set. I, oh, wait, wait. Always. Yes, I, I said he always so smells So I can? Good. <laughs> well, you continue. I see, what, you see the shit? I'm sorry, the shit she says? So I can. No, you always no, do. He does, doesn't he? Yep. But she left the one that she didn't. Uh, act, there's one gift I forgot home. home. Yeah. Okay. That's the vibrator. I like that. I like that. Yes. <laughs> Look at the That's top the of flower. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch out. <clears throat> Look, you have to, you know, come up with these funny things for them. So smells very good. Thank yeah, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank God. You. So, no, you already nice. smelled that, I know. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> God, that's I just smelled it. Too, some beautiful bottle. Oh, I'm gonna go home. Go, home. Gonna work. <laughs> go <laughs> home, don't that's go it. back to work. Don't get mad, I'm the one that sprayed it on him, so <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> if, it's, if it's male, it'll probably be fine. Right, right. Perfume, right. Perfume, right. Perfume, I'd have to explain. Then we have an issue. Really oh, wait, something? something else too? Okay. What is this, is it special? Oh, yeah, that's a special. Spritzer. Spritzer. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's for uh, the Desktop table when he gets annoyed. Out. Oh, well, this is when, for here. Whenever he gets annoyed with you. Oh, now well, I'm going to get the time. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about whenever. I, 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 love, I love the way he, she said that. He whenever. Just hits it. We have, sometimes we have games. That's mm -hmm. just a joke. Odd things, you know. Okay. But since this was his first day back, I didn't want to do anything too obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> you heard that, right? I did. That's all I have to not say. Not yet. That's all I have it's to say. It's not over with yet. It's never over till the fat lady says. That's it. You're Even though she might be humming. <laughs> okay. That's adorable, Susan. So I'm going to get punched with that thing? Is that what no. you're saying? Oh, wait. This is one of those. Wait. You have to. I don't know. The directions right, right, right. Right. You'll figure it out. I'll, I'll have it working it by the next show, I'm yeah. sure. So it's called, this, yeah, it's called yeah, it's called desktop boxing knockout so or stress. Instead of punching her, he punches, he hits that. Yeah, but I'd rather punch her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Right. Thank you. That was a nice. Uh, thank you, thank you, so thank you. That I didn't see. I saw nothing else. Well, that's that. from both of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's a card, and there's some stuff with your children mm -hmm. in the bag that you take home, and something for you. Uh, okay, this is a lubr this bag. is a lubricant. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're joking. Well, yes, thank you. Thank this you, is your thank welcome you, back. You, your Merry you, Christmas, you. Happy New Year, yes. thank you. and Happy Valentine's. You have one to go. <laughs> oh, one more to go. Okay. Yes. God Almighty. See how much you were stopped, missed. Dave. We never were ready stopped. to take take. We were coming to your house. house. <laughs> 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 he doesn't come today. We're going to the house. That's what we were oh doing. Oh my God. So, but there's some goodies in there for the kids. Too. Yeah. These are the goodies for the kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great bottle. That's nice. Thank you. That's thank a great you. Thank bottle. you. Happy New Year. Guys, I gotta thank you. Thank well, you, you gotta give me I gotta give you a kiss. I gotta reach up. Give me a kiss. Oh, be careful. Don't be getting hurt Mwah. now. Thank yes. you, thank you. Very nice. Oh, Enjoy. thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, what do you think? Like, what's the next other than this one you just talked about? So, uh, we do I do have that. Megan Meehan also has a story called Well Wishes. Uh, okay. It's a little short, probably about two and a half, three minutes is it, long. Is it a nice thing or is it uh, hard? No, no, it's a little. No. I didn't write this one, so don't blame me. But <laughs> it's it's got it's it's definitely got a dark turn to it. Um, so we'll be doing that probably in like May, I think. Um, so that one's going to be exciting. That one should be okay. good. Um, now yeah, all then, your all of them are, are short stories, correct? Well. I, up until, aside from Renters, and right. then Necromance now is going to be Bigger. like, you know, probably like, like 90, 80 to 90 minutes, hopefully. Well, that's big. Um, yeah, that was, that's, a, that's what we're trying. That's the next step. That's why I've taken that route. So I made a bunch of little shorts, then I made a short film, 35, and now to push and get it over an hour was the goal, but mm -hmm. the script came together. It just kind of wrote itself at times, mm -hmm. and we ended up having more. But, well, you but, heard about Montauk 77, right? That movie? No. Oh, well, that was the 90 that, minute. We saw it oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with that Long Island guy from Levittown. Right. You should hook up with him. I should hook up with him. It's a great, he, they won awards, they're going all over. It's a family movie. It has him, his daughter, mm -hmm. his wife, the whole family's in they're it. They're all in it, okay. Yeah, and it's really doing well. And it was shown, it won the award last year. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I'm surprised you don't know about it. You yeah. should look it up. It's on now. Um, 
It's on, you know, those things, you know, like Netflix and all that. Okay. My Talk 77. I will definitely look at it. And um, you won an award this year, did didn't you? you? Uh, no, I didn't. I just, I did not win any of the awards. Oh, because I thought I saw an award. Um, that, I won for, for DoorDeath, which was like first thing that I did oh. that was like I submitted places. Door. Right. That won uh, a couple awards, which is a fun little short about okay. a delivery driver who gets weird delivery instructions. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he ends up, you know. Getting so filmed, you're going like to enter this year's film festival, right? Uh, I'm going to try to, yeah, but yeah. I, I don't. I don't want to rush any of the stuff just to get it to the deadline in time. No, because um, it has to be perfect. Exactly. I really, especially necromance, because this one is is like <laughs> kind of a shot. Of I just love that. <laughs> so well, Sean, I'm gonna I love that. the final question is: So you know were you story. at the Fontana's big night? Yes, I was. So yes, let's I hear was. about it. It was awesome. It was great. I think it's it's, it's a hilarious show, and I really want to see where Jerry keeps taking it. Well, we're um, hoping. Yeah, obviously. You're fantastic. In it. Oh, thanks. Um, but I'm just being me. Well, that's, that's what it. we were saying. Yeah. See, didn't I tell that's, you? That's what we were saying. I just don't even know. It happened so quick. The day that I fell here, that he had to pick me up and stuff things up my nose, that was the day I went to audition. Oh, really? From yeah. here. Sick. With a, with a Tampax thing in her nose. <laughs> and who But she knew? got the part. She got the part. But she and got the part. Knew? It was all about the Tampax. And he didn't that's even why. know. That's what she got it. He didn't even know about it yeah. till after. Because yeah. I, you know, well, he yeah. didn't want me I'm to just, leave. I'm like, I'm I got to go. go. I got it. Yeah. Well, he would have been making you nervous, probably. Well, no, he would have been upset that I <laughs> yeah, that's right. would be traveling all the way. Oh, there. I forgot that fault. It was all the way up the island. Yeah. Eliza yeah. giving you a big shout out. Eliza, hello she's there. Well. Nice to hear well. from you. Yeah, she, she's she's a. You guys a have a big thing coming up, Kawani's uh, Eliza, whatever. Yeah, it is. yeah. No, we just had a a, a big uh, thing at the Malvern Movie Theater. Oh, and, that uh, yes, yeah, that, that. Was a, that was a big thing. Just and that was that was a great success. And there's just a whole bunch of other things coming up. And I'm sorry that I don't have the schedule. But, well, we will. You'll, you'll you know, get back in the uh, Yeah. And that other nice so, gentleman, uh, he's doing something at Malvern too, or Seafood Simmers. He's had something here, oh, Brian. right? Yeah, Brian's always having something yeah. also. So we're looking so, forward to uh, that. Yeah. And but it'll be it'll be written on our page. We'll yeah, we're gonna start page. really, you know, now that yeah. he's back. Yeah, we so. didn't communicate as much before. Yeah. Get and, rolling uh, again. Well, yeah, now we're gonna start fighting. That's and, right. Then you know, we'll be back to back to back to the norm. Back to where yes. it was. Yeah, but I really so, did miss you a lot. Yeah, I miss you too, sweetheart. So I really, glad. really do. You look good and hopefully you I'm really glad to be back. Yeah, hopefully you'll stay, you know. Stress free and yeah, no, no, no. keep getting better. Yeah. Well, stress free. You're in my life. Well, this <laughs> I is can't true. be stress free. This is true. You know, my it's, child true. it's good stress, though. Yeah, yes. it's great stress. Yeah. Stress that I, I don't wish on anyone. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> okay, no, well. but we would like to definitely thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you guys thank so, you so much for so having much. me on. This was awesome. This was a great time. And um, Justin, I got to tell you something. I love this. I, I, I love this. Well, See, I get to watch, I get to also watch as we're speaking, so I'm trying to, I'm reading all the <laughs> comments and so forth, and um, just a setup, and and, and I and love the other character, I'm telling you, the kid's amazing. He, he really is. is. Yeah. You have what no idea what we have. You don't before. know. No, no, no. no. Okay. Well, listen, people are just different, that's yes. all. That's it. People that's are just true. different, that's all I have to but say. But he's amazing. But, um, yeah, he's definitely a keeper. And Look at the show. You see what he's doing. Phil, he came out at the last minute from Verso. He's Phil, Phil Verso from Cherry Production. He does all the bookings for for the Avenue. Now it's called G's, aka the Avenue. And he's been he's been with me since day one. And and he really is this guy in the business. He's really a hard worker. He's out there Hell promoting, yeah, pushing, Phil. booking. He does all of that stuff. So he's an amazing guy. So Phil, thank you so much for everything that you do. And and Bob pops up now, guys. We're ending the show now. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants to stop popping in there. See that? Bob, giving you a big shout out. How are you, buddy? Bob, Can't wait to see you soon. We'll see you soon on Valentine's Day. And uh, we want to wish you very much on on your future movies. And um, and we're available. If you I'm have, that's if you it. Wanna, noted, you, you, know, you know what? If you want, noted, yeah. you want to make us up or whatever, it's a horror films, it. we'll do it. Don't as worry, long as it comes I'll, off. I'll look like Frankenstein for a little while too. Hopefully, <laughs> so we'll have plenty of time for that. All right. So um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share this after you watch this. Even if you don't watch it, share it if you want. Exactly. But um, like our page, and we will see you Thursday. Thursday, we have Thursday. somebody coming, yeah, Thursday, and also Thursday, don't have... forget go see Teddy and Christina at Or Pure and watch Jewelers. and watch Rentus and watch Rentus. Rentus yeah. on the Rentus. on the Troma Now app, streaming on the Troma Now app, which first month is free, right? If you subscribe, and then 
Okay. After that, you can decide what you want to do. But is that, is that like a YouTube thing that you go on, or is it you just go directly on? So Troma, Troma is like a old school horror right. uh, company. Um, they have a streaming service where they put a lot of independent films up there that people can submit. So it's an app you can download on your phone or your tablet. You can okay. go on on the website Troma Now. Um, sign up. First month is free. And then you can watch my film and all the other great stuff, and then you probably will keep it. But if not, you can decide to move on. But That's it is great. available on there now. This month just started. So Yeah, and go buy your Valentine a gift at uh, right. Aura Puro Jewelers. Teddy That's and Christina right. are Aura. wonderful. And and Jackson Hewitt, the Prince of Taxes, the guy's amazing. What is it? Seven, 786 Hempstead Turnpike. Yep. And then uh, Teddy, thank you so much. Thanks for reaching out oh, also. He's missing Love you, you and I'll see you and I'll see you soon. And, and um, Tranquility Spa. Tranquility Spa. We Two can. places. That's right. That's right. Franklin Square and Levittown. That's right. The best so, spa you can get treatment for forty five dollars one right. hour. That's right. Don't forget. So anyway, right, we'll I'll get, get my wife a trip. There. You've there been you telling me for two weeks now. I'll, I will do it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And, and that's it's a, a wrap.